I'm Amy, this is Living in Chrysalis, and yep, as you can see, I am not at home, but I do have a special guest makeup artist to make me pretty, so say hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's get to it. Welcome or welcome back. Yes, I, uh, I am out of town. I took my kid to see his great-grandmother, so that is where we are right now. His sister is here, um, Amelia. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'm not going to have her on camera for many reasons, um, but not because she isn't adorable. That is definitely not a reason. But, um, yeah, so Amelia has appeared by voice on my channel before. It's been a while. If you go back and you see the thumbnail with me holding a, a teddy bear, that's that's the one. But she's here and she's older and her makeup skills, I'm sure, have improved even from then. And so Amelia is going to fix me up today. All right. Okay, so why don't you just go ahead and get started. Okay. All right, so... We're first going to start with a powder foundation from She Who Shall Not Be Named. Try to cover the mirrors okay. when you hold things up. But, see, a little sponge goes there. All right, so she's going to... Oh, powder foundation? Just You just smear it and smear, like so. Oh, okay. okay. Remember, make sure you put on a nice thick layer because I'm ugly. Yeah. No, not because I'm ugly, but because I do have a lot of sun damage. Plus, I want a nice blank canvas for my makeup look. Okay. Am I still in frame? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, you forgot the middle. Ah. Gotta, gotta get my nose. Also, it helps... With the, with the eyeshadow if you do my eyelids too okay just, and don't be afraid of using a lot it's okay 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 all right so now we have a base all right you can put that away now do you know how to contour i've tried before okay i'll talk you through it Okay, so with contour, the idea is when you when you put down the foundation, it kind of takes away some of the you know some of the natural hollows, so things look flatter. So what you do with the contour is you kind of bring it back, but you can also manipulate it. So for I've instance, done highlight. Yeah, this is like the opposite. Uh. The highlight is to bring something forward, and the contour is to make it sink in. So, like, for instance, here, give me your hand. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to have you feel my cheek. Okay, you see where my cheek goes up there and then it goes down? Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is when you use contour, I would put it right underneath here to make that look like it sinks down further, thus making this part appear bigger okay. and more beautiful. Okay. It's all tricks to make me look better looking than I really am. Okay. So this is what I use for contour, and I'm, I'm going to show you on this side, and then you can do it on this side. Okay. Okay. So, see what I'm going to do is, is you see where I'm running my finger and just where yeah. it goes down? That's where I'm going to start with contour. And you do this before blush. Yeah. So you see? Okay. So that's contour. And then here, you see how that's kind of dipping down a little bit? It's called a jowl. It means I'm old and chubby. So, to try to make that go away, kind of hit it there, too. See how that kind of makes it yeah. almost disappear? Almost, not quite. But, you know, even if I weren't so chubby, I'd probably have jowls anyway. But the trick is, see, if I come too far over here, then it's still going to make them show up. So the trick is to find it like right where it starts to get big and hit it there. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then hit a little more, a little more. Okay. Okay. Also, another thing to do is see how it's kind of chubby under there? Yeah. Use that. Now, it doesn't look like much 
right now. But if you look at me straight on, you see how it kind of makes it yeah. look like it's not so much? <laughs> okay. And then I use this one for my nose. Here, I'm, I'll show them, but you can see too. Okay, because you see how my nose kind of comes in and then it goes out and then in and then kind of into this bulb here? Yeah. I want it to look a little straighter. So this is the part where I use powder to tell lies. Lies! <laughs> okay. So here's where I go in and if you see, I just hit there and then kind of hit there. And I know, it looks funny right now, right? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Then I'm also going to kind of do it on the sides here a little bit. Okay. But now, if I look at you straight on, you see a difference? Yeah. You see? It's all tri you know, it's all tr it's all tricks. Now, a lot of times in a lot of tutorials you you'll see it where it's a lot and they're doing it for a couple reasons. One to show you but you know, to show you where things go in the technique, but also because if you do it on for like camera, for video, um or for stage, you have to do it a lot more than you would normally. Yeah. You know, like how kids dance recitals, you wear all that crazy makeup. Yeah. And, but it doesn't look crazy from far away. So this is, this is a more subtle version of what they do for those. Okay, so now I'm going to have you do the contour on this side. Okay. Yeah, just get a quick tap and work on that jaw right there. Remember, don't come too, too close to the chin. Okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. Yeah. Look about right? Do you? Kinda. Okay, if you want to hit it some more, go ahead. It's just colored powder. I've got plenty and I can always buy more. All right. Believe me, I have plenty. You should <laughs> see the size of my collection at home now. It's a little crazy. Okay, now go ahead and hit my cheekbone. Now remember where I showed you. You feel? And like right where it starts to go under is where you're going to put it. Okay. Okay. So hit me right there. Bring it kind of down a little bit here. Because you see where, where my cheek naturally goes in there? Yeah. So you want to kind of connect that to make it look a little more extreme. There. That looks pretty good. Okay. They about even, you think? Yeah. Excellent. All right, now take the little brush and hit my nose. Okay. And remember, the part where it dips in, don't hit that part. Just hit like here and there and then the sides. Okay. Okay. Let's, oh, let's make sure they can see. Okay. Not too far up. You see, you're kind of making it look like I got punched in the eye there. I'll wipe that off. Okay. All right, go ahead and give it a go. Okay. Right here? Yeah. And then take the bigger brush and kind of just brush, blend it all around. Okay. Okay. That looks pretty good. See? Yay. You're a quick study. Excellent. Okay. Now, would you rather do the blush or the eyes first? Eyes. Okay. All right. So, my eye brushes are... Of course, because I'm traveling, we're going to use my Eco Tools ones. Yeah, goes back in a minute. A couple Eco Tools ones, yay! Here. Okay. All right. Do as you like. I can I can use any of these on my eyeshadow. Well, you can use any of them for eyeshadow. So just pick whatever colors you want. Okay. Because this is technically an eyeshadow, but I use it for contour, but. You can use it if you want to. Okay. Um, this is, these are blushes, but you can use those as I show. You can, you know, whichever yeah. way, whichever color you want. I'm gonna go with this. Okay. For the base. And you can do both my eyes. I know. Okay. I'm gonna do that for the top, and then like this dark brown color. Okay. Okay. 
something. All right. What else? What else you got for Slash me? Color. Yeah. Okay, now let me open my eyes. Take a look. Okay, that's really nice. Now, one thing I will explain to you about my eyes is they're what's called hooded. If you take a look, you see how you can't see much of my eyelid? Yeah. And a lot of what you just did disappears. So what you're going to want to do is bring it all up further. Okay. Okay, so round two. Let's do it. Yeah, your, your eyes aren't so hooded as mine. It's hard to do it from the side. Okay, well, here. I've never oh. actually put makeup on another person. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. So, okay. Um, all right. Anything you want to touch up on this side before you do the other one? Yeah. Okay. I kind of want to. Blend it out. Okay. Here. I'll wipe off this brush we used for my nose and I can use this to blend. <laughs> I know. All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay. So you ready to do the other one? Yeah. Okay. I'll turn more toward you. Which one did I use? I think I used this one. I don't know. Here, I'll wipe this one off to get it ready for blending next time around. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Done. Done a bit of blending. Excellent. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's. Let, why don't you point out which colors you used? I used this one for on um, the crease right here, mm -hmm. and then I used this dark brown color, and then I used this gold on top of the brown. Excellent. Okay. All right, um, the highlighter. For highlighter, I've got two options. You can use this pencil. Yeah, it was an eyeliner pencil, but <laughs> this is all that's left. My mom has the same one. Okay, yeah. Or you, and or you can use that. Yeah. Okay, so which would you like to use? I want to use the powder. Okay. For, for that, what I have is what we call a fan brush. Go to town, kid. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hit me. Now, remember, highlighter should go high. Okay. It should be up here. Because okay. we're trying to make this cheekbone look look more prominent. Okay. You know, it's, it's about playing with light. Because not all of us are as naturally good looking as you. Some of us need help. Eh, I wear makeup most of the time. Which just amazes me. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, you know, out of, except for playing around. I wasn't allowed to wear it until I was in seventh grade. Mm. Oops. I don't think they can see through your hand. <laughs> no. Okay, let's try that again. My hand is not transparent. 
But it should be. Okay, well. Eight. We'll trust you. Okay. Now for blush. Which blush would you like? Uh, this one is actually two colors. So you can choose the browner one or the pinker one. Or you can mix them. Yeah. Or there's that one. Which is kind of mauve. Yeah, this, I think I want to do that. Okay, this is the blush brush. So we're going with Makeup Forever. I think this color is called Rosewood. But I'm not sure. Don't go too low. It should be between the... It, it should be between the um, contour and the highlighter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here. Let me turn so that you can see. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. I think that's a sufficient amount, or do yeah. you want to hit it some more? No, that's good. Okay. Here. Do the other side. Okay. Do I look even? Yeah. What do you think? Do I look even? She's killing it, isn't she? Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So we're good on these. Don't need those anymore. Don't need that. <sighs> eyeliner. Okay. And think, eyebrows. I don't think you can trust me with eyeliner. Okay. Do you want to do my brows? Yeah. Okay. Here's my here's my brow pencil. This is the. It's Cosmetics Brow Power, Universal Taupe, baby. Okay, go for it. And the other end is a spoolie, so you can yeah, brush it afterwards. Okay. I've seen my mom do her eyebrows plenty of times. Okay. Awesome sauce. See, my mom didn't wear makeup. I mean, it got to the point where even when I was a kid, I would do her makeup for her. Mm -hmm. But my best friend's mom was an Avon lady. Actually, I think I was about your age when we met. I was 10. And her mom used to sell Avon. Her mom was beautiful. I think she was part native and she had like this beautiful tan skin and black hair. Mm -hmm. She's gorgeous and she sold Avon. I always thought she was so beautiful, and I wanted to look just like her, which I wasn't going to. Okay, so you, so you want me to do my eyeliner? Yeah. You don't trust it? No. Fair enough. Oh, actually, do you want to try it with a brush, maybe? I'll try. Okay, so here I have a brush. Let me see if there's any eyeliner left in this pencil. There. Because this was an eyeliner pencil. So, yeah. is that eyeliner or is that? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of dig in there. Mm, nah, I think it's down to that clear stuff they put in there. All right, fine. Oh, cut it! Thunder and lightning, cut it again! You big girls will know what I'm talking about. This little skinny mini, not so much. No. When someone has big legs, a kind of mean nickname is Thunder Thighs. Mm. So I'm like Thunder Lightning. You know, I put them together, so I caught my caught my pencil. Didn't have to have you dig it from the floor. Okay. So here, try it on a brush. Okay. Come on over. That way it'll be hard for you to actually poke me. <laughs> Are you going to do a wing or no? I don't know. It feels like you're doing a wing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, that's all right. It's going to be called the uneven line. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. How about if I, sh how about if I show you it on mine? On one side, and then you can finish the other. Let's try that. See how it goes. Okay. So you can see, it also kind of helps, especially when someone's a little older. You're going to take the skin and stretch it a little bit, like this. They tell you not to do it, but really it's the only way to get it decent. Oh, yeah, this is not working, is it? No. Not really. Okay. Well, a little bit. Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can still make it work or not. Or if I'm just going to have to do my own dang eyeliner. 
Oh, see, I got it now. See? Oh, yeah. Okay. See, I'm just kind of... I should show the people rather than just sit here silently. I'll probably put little blurbs of music in spots where we're both too quiet. Yeah. Just to keep people entertained. It's called editing. I love editing. Editing is like my favorite thing ever. Uh, I don't know how to edit. Well, you'll learn. If we, especially if we can get you to spend more time with me. Yeah. And see the way I just did? Yeah. Okay. All right, so if you feel like you need more eyeliner, just hand it to me and I'll put more eyeliner on it. You try this side. Remember, you take your other hand and kind of pull the skin a little bit. Just a little, don't go crazy. Can they see in my in frame? Okay, cool. I'm afraid that we're going to be in frame. No, you're not in frame. Okay. I can only see up to your elbow. Okay. You're good. Need more? Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you a little more. Don't be afraid to get right down by the eyelashes. Just like, take a look at the two. You see the uh, difference? Yeah. I'll show you the difference. Okay. So don't be, don't be afraid. And what's the worst that can happen? You put my eye out. <laughs> you'll put your eye out. You'll put your eye out. Have you seen Christmas Story? I don't know. Okay, well... I would play it on TNT for 24 hours every Christmas because they own it. And there was this scene where, well, actually, it was kind of a running theme because this kid wanted a BB gun for Christmas. And everybody kept saying, oh, well, if you get it, you know, you can't have it or you'll put your eye out. And there was this whole thing. In the, and then, of course, he got it. <laughs> and he almost put his eye out. <laughs> It broke his glasses. Okay. That is not a Christmas story spoiler. If you haven't seen it by now, that is your issue, not mine. Okay. So, lipstick. I have a couple of choices here. You can use just my lip liner pencil. This is a bite one. It's seen better days. Or I have a liquid lipstick. What would you like to do? I'm going to use the liquid. Okay. Hook me up. Okay. I think some of my hair just got in the frame. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's just your face we're trying to avoid. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, I'm okay. Don't worry about that. I can rub my lips together. Okay. That's the best thing to do. Okay. Now rub them together. How are you feeling about that? Pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So brows. Yeah. Highlighter. Concealer. We never did concealer. Ah. Yeah. See, so yeah, look at those circles. I need as much help as I can get. Okay. Now for the concealers. This one is kind of my homemade mash. This one is NARS. <laughs> so... You can use one or both of them. There, take take the pot. Take the pot. I can't hold it. Okay. okay. And put them where you think they'll do so good. Okay, here, let me move my face up so you can see it. And you can you can also use your fingers to blend it out if you need to. That's cool. Oh no! Okay. Okay, don't forget under here. I know my nose is so big. I'm trying to move it out of the way so you can see what she's doing. Okay, now make sure you blend a little bit, like right up under my eye. Okay. Okay, let's see where we're at. Okay. okay. Go ahead and do the other one. Yeah, I'm not doing it. You do it. Oh. <laughs> You're the makeup artist. I am the talking head. <laughs> oh, I would have liked to go to makeup artist school. That would be cool.
I like makeup, but I'm more into fashion. Yeah, well, I like fashion too. But. Okay, all right, so let's see. Are we missing anything or am I done? I think we're done. Mascara. Oh, mascara. That's the best part. Okay, got a mini of the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. Lights camera lashes. Uh, okay. I'm just pumping. I, normally I wouldn't pump, but th this is one I had to reconstitute with um, with some contact lens solution because it kind of dried up before I used it. But I reconstituted. Okay, now you go ahead and lean in here. Nowhere near in frame. Okay, here, try to put your hands. Can you do it with your right hand or, or no? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, how are we going to do this? Because <laughs> we can't see anything through your hand. I'll try. To okay. Do it with my hand. I know, you're a lefty. Guess we should have you sit the other way, but it's a little late now. <laughs> okay. I could crouch down so that they can't see me. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll look better. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so I'm done. And hey, it's Friday night. Should we go out on the town? Yeah. Actually, I can't because I have a cast and, <laughs> and I haven't had a shower since yesterday morning. But this is cool. So thank you so much for helping me out, Amelia. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, and... Thank you for watching, and of course, if you haven't already, do this with me. Subscribe.